Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Alrighty, when we left off, we had uh, started doing a lot of the Gino Haradin uh, quests a little bit, uh, just because I kind of want to see what I get out of them. And, uh, yeah. Going to move on to Kashyyyk, which is the next one out of all of them. You might have been wondering why I went quiet there a little bit. I tried doing this earlier, and the game froze. So I was hoping it didn't freeze again. <laughs> ah, gotta love having my energy drink. Helps me focus. But yeah, I was kind of hoping it wasn't going to freeze. But so far, so good. Okay, come on. There we go. Okay, come on. Oh, would you stop it? There we go. Got you. I'm gonna kill you, little shit. There we go, gotcha. There we go, gotcha. Okay, time to get the rest of them. There we go. Managed to get you. Where's the other one? There it is. Perfect. Just took about, what, a minute? Minute and a half? Tops? That wasn't too bad. But, uh, yeah. It froze on me in the first attempt, so I was kind of hoping it didn't do that again. <laughs> but uh, here we are. We're doing good. We're running, gunning, and heading to Kashyyyk. To get that shapeshifter. Which, the way I understand it, means he could be anything down there. That won't be fun. <laughs> that won't be fun to deal with. I just realized I forgot to check on Mission's brother in Tatooine. Well, I guess I'll go back eventually. Okay, well. And... I you to look for him on Kashyyyk. That's fine. That's fine by me. We go off the Ebon Hawk. Don't need my party. It's fine. I'll be doing shenanigans that don't require them. At least not desperately. I am happy I can come back to the fucking planet. Considering everything that happened. Wookie Rebel. Let no one escape. They must learn the price we place on dishonor. Well, I think we already looted everything that's in here, so that's fine. Shadowlands are too good for them. We'll kill them all. Damn. All right. Jesus. Fucking brutal, man. <laughs> all right. And I'm assuming that it wouldn't be anywhere easy for me to get. So it's probably in the Shadowlands. Probably. So where do I go to do that? There it is. All the way on the other side of the map. Because of course it is. This is going to take a while. God love backtracking. The best feature of video games is backtracking. I give it shit, but it's nice to revisit locales every once in a while. Once in a while. While. Blah, 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 blah. Now, if only my brain functioned. That would be nice. Alright, Wookie Guard. Hello. That was not the button I meant to press. I ended up hitting the solo button, which 
is useless when I am already solo. Okay. Away we go. To the Shadowlands. Man, this whole trek takes forever. I keep hitting that fucking button when I don't mean to. Oopsie doopsie. And just because I can. Wee Alright, Plasteel Cylinder. Having seen Gorwoken use the basket, you understand it well enough to operate. Yep, go down. And there we go. Come on, let me skip this. There it goes. Eventually, let me skip it. I think it's hitting select multiple times. I don't know. Can't guarantee that's the method, because I don't know. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. That is a thing. Hmm. I wonder. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Maybe if I follow these tags, it wouldn't it wouldn't shape shift to one of these, would it? That would be silly, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it be silly? Wouldn't it be just the silliest thing if that was what it was doing? Mm. Wouldn't that be the silliest thing? to grow roar. Why do you disturb me, human? Grawar comes to the Shadowlands to get away from your kind. Want to ask some questions? I'm no slave, human. I am Grawar, a free Wookiee. I do not answer to you. Leave me be, human. Return to the village in the treetops. The Shadowlands is no place for your kind. Okay. I helped you, though. Okay. Um. Interesting. Data pad. A data pad, you say? data pad appears to be a diary or record of some kind. The final entry is of particular interest. We were fools to come down here, all of us. How can we hope to capture an enemy that can assume any shape, any form? We lost two the first day, another three disappeared the day after that. Our enemy's bloodlust knows no limits. We found Grarwar's body last night. What was left of it? If we do not leave the Shadowlands soon, I fear we will all become victims of the Faceless One. Aha! Hey, buddy! Uh. 
according to a data pad I found, you're supposed to be dead in it, buddy. So you have uncovered my little secret. No matter, this body has grown tiresome to me. Maybe I can find one more to your liking, human. Oh, okay. Got something on your mind? Your tricks don't fool me, Rulon. Well, that that was a way that went. I didn't expect that to go that way. Okay, so that helped a little. Oh, okay. Now you're a Tarantetic. Okay. Oh, it's a Mew. Well, that's great. Okay, well, uh, I'm hurting a lot. So I'm going to use one of my advanced med packs here, which I did buy a lot extra, just in case people were wondering. I bought a lot more. Oh boy. Alright. Uh, do I have any life support packs left? Do I? No? Shit. God damn it. God damn it. Dead damn it. Now he turned into attack. Are you kidding me? Motherfucker. A little bitch could be anywhere. Son of a bitch. He turns into a god's damn attack. All right. Um. I guess I just start going after them. Okay, I guess I just have to keep looking around until I find him. Fucking hell. God damn it. God damn it. The little shit ran away. The little shit ran away. Okay. All right. That may be you. You little shit. Okay. Come on. Someone. Damn it. Come on. There we go. Get a little bit of a heal going. Where could he have gone? God damn it. God damn it. Doug, damn it, damn it, owner of the Dimsdale, damn it, damn. Maybe it's here. Oh. Kill it. Okay. It's obvious now that this attack wasn't Rulon. How must how much must you slaughter before you find your true quarry? Oh god, so I actually have to kill them? Oh man. Oh come on. <laughs> You're kidding. You're kidding. Okay. That was him. Okay. So it was the one in front. Of 
course it was the one in front. So I killed one accidentally for no reason. Well, he's dead now. He's dead now. And a, Re a Rodian named Lorgal. I still need to kill him. Okay. Fair enough. Can I? No, I cannot. I have to go all the way back. Okay. Well, at least there wasn't too much backtracking. Okay. Well then. I figured if I talked to the tax, I would find something, but I didn't. Didn't expect him to be a Wookiee. Also didn't expect him to turn into Joe Lee. That is a little weird. But, uh, okay. Well. Huh. <laughs> that was quite a, uh, quite a way that went. Didn't expect that, I'll be honest. Okay, now I'm hitting select multiple times. There we go. It seems it has to be select and start interchangeably. Don't know why. And thus it'll lead to those weird, uh, open up the map again, sort of shenanigans or whatever. So, uh, don't mind me. Okay. So I can't turn to the Ebon Hawk quickly. I have to walk the entire walkway. Okay. Backtracking. Oh, so fucking fun. Okay. I give it shit, but I do enjoy it. When done in moderation. And not long treks like this. Or at least shortcuts to go back. It's always nice. Can you send me back? Reliable access to the Shadowlands and our village. You have our thanks. Okay. Fair enough. That's good to know. In the meantime, though... Is that always there? Yeah, it was always there, and I already looted it. Okay. Looted it. My, uh... My Michigander accent is uh, starting to become a problem. <laughs> because uh, looted and looted can be two very different things. Very different things. Alrighty. Now we are back at the landing pad, and I can hopefully... Transit disabled! Eat my butt! Alright, so I guess I have to run back still. Alrighty. Okay. Well, that is done. So the last kill is on Manon. That's fine. That's okay. Thank you for guarding my ship. Y'all the greatest. Love the Wookiees. They're great. Not just because I'm a furry. Okay, it, it's partially... Shut up. Okay? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. You don't know nothing. Alright, now we can go back to Manon. But first, go to Tatooine to check on Mission's brother. There we go. Now we're back. Good, 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 good. Every two trips, I'm assuming, is when we get that uh, mini game with Starfighters. So, I'm going to bring Mission along since we don't need anything else in particular on this planet that would require me being alone. Oh, Jahani has a level up. How about that? Didn't expect that. What can we do with her? Not much. 
Um, bring that up to 16. That'd be useful enough. Feats. What shall we do with feats? For Juhani. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Jedi defense. Wait, she doesn't get these for free? That sucks. But, uh, we'll just add that. That should help her a little bit. Oh, I'm using the weakest on... <laughs> I'm using the weakest on Farron Khan for healing. No wonder it was doing so little. Alright, um... What can she do? What can she do? What can she do? I don't know. I guess we'll have her do... Disable droid? Maybe? I'll do stasis. Stasis is better, I think. Stasis is better. Alright, cool. That's done. Me and Farron... Or rather, me and Mission are on the same level. Jihani, not so much. Alright. Yes. At least level of the light side, I should say. Okay... Anchor head. And her brother was at... Where was it? Fuck, I don't remember. The Zerka offices, I think? Something like that? Not the hunting lodge. No, it's not the hunting lodge. That don't make sense. Uh, Zerka office. There we go. Okay. You're back. I knew you'd come through for me. I knew I could count on you. Uh, you do have a tech land for me, right? Yeah. Mm, I'm not doing that until I see some credits. Um, here's a tech land. Take it. Come to Papa, you sweet simian organ. It may not look like much, but once I turn this into a bottle of Teresian ale, it'll end up being worth a fortune. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Mission. You won't regret helping me out with this. Please, Griff, let this be the last time. No more cons, no more scams, no more schemes. That's all I ask. Hey, sis, no need to worry about that. I, I've turned over a new leaf. Mm -hmm. From now on, I'm going to stay out of trouble and do things right. Right. And once we've cornered the market on Theresian Ale, good things will be heading my way. Then I'll make it up to your mission. Just wait, you'll see. You know... Once we synthesize this and start brewing Theresian Ale in mass quantities, we're going to be looking for some investors. You mm -hmm. give me a couple of hundred credits, and I can get you in on the ground floor. You'll get a return of, oh, at least 20 times your investment. You already promised me a few thousand credits. Hey, don't worry. You'll get your credits as soon as we start mass producing that Theresian Ale. I just wanted to know if you were interested in an even bigger payoff. <sighs> okay, here's your 200 credits. Wise move. I can see you really understand how business works. Now, when you see your chance, you jump. Right. Out, huh? That's my motto. Mm -hmm. I better get started on brewing mm -hmm. that ale. Meet me back here later, and I'll have a down payment on what I owe you. A down payment, you say? The credits he promised you haven't materialized yet. He did say you could meet him later in the Zerka supply shop on Tatooine to collect the debt. Mm, anything out of the ordinary happening? Well, it's odd that I'm talking to the Manan Sector champion, but with Taurus gone, you'll likely don't have much choice about where to race. Your opinions on Terrace? You know what? At least the Sith seem to make things happen. How old is the Republic? 15,000 years? It's stagnant. Every year, ships get a little faster, droids get a little smarter, and people get a little fatter. That's about it for progress. I suspect I'd do just as much grunt labor under them as I do now. They'll at least shake things up, even if it means the deaths of innocents? Nobody's innocent once their mother has left the room. That's just my view. Wow. 
Wow. Wow. Holy fuck, that's an opinion. <laughs> okay, what about local events? Don't care about them. I stay in the Zerka compound. You could be on a pleasure world for all I care or know. Okay, goodbye. Bye then, come back if you need any supplies. Sure. Right. Hey there. I appreciate everything you've done for Griff. You know that, right? I just hope things work out for him this time around. I guess we'll find out when he meets up with us at the Zerka Corp Shop. If he's got those credits he promised you, then maybe there's hope for him yet. Maybe. Maybe. Greetings again from the offices of Zerga Corporation. Is this about bounties or something else? Uh, I wanted to ask about our agreement. You have fulfilled your end of the bargain, and Zerka Corporation is grateful. The Sand People will be less of a threat without their chieftain. I will, of course, continue to give you bounties on regular gaffy sticks. Everyone helps. Okay. Fair enough. Farewell. Zerka Corporation welcomes your future inquiries. Well, I mean, future inquiries, How quote unquote. Uh, could we talk? What is it you would like to speak to me about? I don't know. I apparently don't have anything. I was hoping that there would be something. Okay. Well, away I go. And when we come back, hopefully we'll find out if uh, it worked out with Griff or not. Probably will not. Knowing Griff. Return to the Ebon Hawk. Real quick. There we go. And out. There we go. Perfect. Now that I've done that, um, hmm. I guess the rest of everything I need to do is with uh, Manan, unless Candor has something extra yeah, to say. Yeah, what do you want? Uh, no, no, he doesn't. Okay, Your nothing choice. more for now. Yeah, it is my choice, ain't it? Okay, away we go, and we go back to Manan. And hopefully, that will get us all squared away on pretty much every other mission going on. Can I go to Manan? Thank you. Took a little while. Alright. Okay, that took a little bit. Oh, it's only every one. No, rather, every two visits to a planet, I guess. I don't know. I don't know how the whole star fighting bullshit works. I don't get it. I don't get it. Oh, and Jolie has a level up. Jeez. Does everyone have a level up and I just ain't aware of it? Maybe. It's entirely possible. Uh, we'll level that up a little bit. And what shall we do with your stuff? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess we'll do that. I don't see why not. Oh, he has two. Okay, cool. Uh, what should I do then? I don't know. Hmm. The entire party, huh? That'd be nice. Cool. Alright. Alright. Okay. That's good. Good enough for me. Okay. And... Transit disabled. Okay. That's fine. So, really, all I can do is go to the Republic Embassy, I guess. Because that's really the only thing I have left to do. At least I'm a non. So, where was the Republic Embassy? I forget. <laughs> that's East. And that's Otto West. Okay. Hmm. Sith soldier, goodbye. 
Goodbye. Security droid. Which direction do I go? I don't know. That's the way I've gone pretty much every time. So, let's say this way. There we go. And... What is over in the west? I don't know. We'll find out. your help. Laura, of all the people, how did you even know I'd left Kashik? I didn't. Nobody knew where you were, not even Sunri. But I heard the Salkath mention you and your friends. The Force has brought you to help us. Why? Whatever could be the matter, my dear? Oh, it's horrible, Jolie. Sunri has been arrested. The Sith have accused him of murder. Murder? But how? It's all a mistake, Jolie. Sunri isn't a murderer. Someone is trying to frame him. Oh, Calm down, Elora. Where's Sunri now? Sunri's being held at the Selkath courts. They won't let anyone in to see him. Please, go to the courts. Talk to the judges. Maybe the Selkath will listen to you. Don't worry, Elora. We'll get to the bottom of this and help Sunri somehow. Okay. Well, there's that. Also, uh, wasn't. A little bit of a thing on Tatooine that we did that told Jolie about this. Why is he acting like he doesn't know when we already know? That's weird. Okay. Oh boy. Okay, my chair is acting up and I'm getting annoyed at it. But it is what it is. Okay. The courts. We need to head there to do anything regarding the murder trial. Uh... Laura is adamant that her husband is not responsible and has begged you and Jolie to help her prove his innocence. Talk to the judges. Where is the judges? That is a wrong Bhutan. Again, I keep doing this to myself. Nilko Boaz. What the what? I wish to speak to you if you have the time. Sure. Greetings, human. My name is Nilko Boas. I hope you are enjoying yourself here in Otto City. Our floating city is beautiful, is it not? I mean, you're a lot more friendly than most of the Selkath here. I am afraid you speak the truth, human. My people are suspicious of outsiders. They fear the destruction of our beautiful planet. The beauty of Manan is delicate. Our ecosystem is complex and fragile. And I fear for the preservation of my planet. What are you talking about? There was a task I would ask, human. Jedi. I fear there is nowhere else I can turn. What do you want me to do? Rest assured, there will be ample reward for this human. I only require information, nothing more. The Republic has been hiring mercenaries. Many more than usual. As an official of the Southcath people, this is of great concern to me. I only seek the reason for this change in Republic policy. Why do you need this from? Why do you need me for this, rather? I cannot trust anyone else. The Republic obviously wants to keep their secret. I have inquired often as to their purpose and have been rebuffed. The Sith cannot be trusted to give me an accurate report of events. They will twist the truth so that it furthers their own goals. And the mercenaries are well aware of the high wages the Republic is paying. They would not report anything that might slow down the flow of credits into their accounts. Uncover the truth behind the Republic's actions and I will pay you 500 credits. We could look into this to calm the Selkath's fears. Though I doubt the Republic would be involved in anything illegal. I mean... Be careful here, kid. Start poking your nose in a place it doesn't belong and you might not like what you find. <laughs> Might be true. Please, see if you can find the answers I seek. Find why the Republic is hiring so many mercenaries. Find where they are going. Find why they do not return. Wait, they don't return? That's a layer of complexity you did not initially tell me about. But I'll do it. Once you discover some information, please come speak to me. 
Believe it or not, I am a friend of the Republic. Whatever the truth, I shall do my best to protect the Republic's interests, and those of the Selkath, of course. Fair enough. All right. Gonto, yes. I hope you're here to play some Pazak. I don't come here looking for sparkling conversation. Well, that's not why I'm here. So clear out already. I'm doing it. Yes. All right. Uh, Viglo. Hey, man. Clear out. They're cramping my style with the ladies. Okay. Damn. Iridorian mercenary, huh? You know, if we're talking to mercenaries, we might have some fun stuff come out of uh, Candorous if we're talking to them. Although, I do kind of like Jolie's insights into things. But, I think Candorous will have some fun things to say. Oh, he has a level up too. Nice. He is doing another treat injury because I don't see any other reason why he shouldn't. Um, hmm. I mean, I don't see why not. Level 3 cybernetic implants won't be bad for him. So yeah, let's do it. And in the meantime, let's see. Oh my gods, have I not equipped him with anything? I guess I've never equipped him with a single thing. Holy shit. Uh, let's give him the melee shield and the power shield, I guess. Yeah, that, that'd be okay. Um, response package. Um, motion detection goggles, maybe? No, that'd be wasted on him. Interface visor, that might be wasted on him, too. Light scan visor, that'd be fine. And I don't have anything for him there. Um, clothing. Hmm. That would be bad. What's his skills at again? His dexterity is only plus one. Technically, that's from... <laughs> Technically, that's from the uh, thing I gave him. Let's give him constitution. And yeah, it's just down to... Just down to plus one. Okay, so in that case... We could probably get away with giving him Kalo Nord's battle armor. It would give him a lot of resistances, too. Or, do I have anything stronger? Hmm. There's that one, but it only allows... Uh, it doesn't allow any dexterity bonus. Huh. Might be best to do uh, Kalo Nord's battle armor for now, then. Well, look at him. Look at him. He is all fancy. What? Like a fancy man. There we go. Iridorian. I am not for hire. Perhaps the Mandalorian or the Achani can help you. Though they lack the stomach for certain jobs. What do you have against the Achani and Mandalorians? They lack the resolve to do what needs to be done. The Achani believe in a non-existent warrior code of honor. And mm -hmm. the Mandalorians prize credits above bloodshed. But I am Iridorian. Honor comes from slaying your opponent. And the true reward of any job is the taste of your foe's dying blood on your tongue. Ah. Uh, okay. you just said hmm hmm okay all right mm. okay well then let's move on to some questions That's shall we you wish, though you may find some of my answers distasteful yeah a little bit um why is the republic hiring so many mercenaries perhaps you should ask them the republic prefers 
prefers not to deal with my kind. Though maybe they need an Iridorian to finish the job. The mercenaries they hire must be failing, as they are never heard from again. Okay. That is all I know. Is there more you wish to ask? That's all you know. I'll be going. Yes, I'm not surprised. There are a few on this watery world who feel comfortable in my presence. I wonder why. Ganderus, I haven't seen you since the Republic broke our ranks at the Battle of Malachor. Ergeron, I see you've got some new guns to add to your collection. Times must have been profitable for you since the war. Very profitable. When the Republic yeah. defeated our fleets, I learned a valuable lesson. It's far better to be a freelance mercenary in a war than to be a soldier for the losing side. If you're here to offer me a job, I'm not interested right now. I got so many offers, I can't keep up as it is. Maybe that Iridorian skull slacker at the bar, or the Ajani nerf herder cowering in the corner is available. Okay, don't you hate the Republic, though? I'm a realist. It was war, after all. Okay. And even though the Republic destroyed my people, the leaders of the Armada were Revan and Malak. So I hate the Sith just as much. And with this war, gotcha. there's plenty of opportunity to take bloody vengeance against both sides. And make a nice profit along the way. We Mandalorians are always practical that way. Not like those bloodthirsty Iridorians or those honor bound Ichani. Or anything else you want? Gotcha. Fair enough. I got the bloodthirsty part from talking from the other guy. I got that. What do you have against the Ichani and the Iridorians? Well, nothing. Except that the Ichani are a bunch of fade dancers prancing in a battle with tiny weapons not fit for Mandalorian children. Uh, they hardly wear any armor because it slows them down when they run away. But the Ichani are better okay. than the Iridorians. Those savages keep hacking and falling foe even after death, mutilating the corpse out of pure bloodlust. Okay. Like they'll turn on each other when the battle fever hits. Who wants to work with someone like that? I could pay gotcha. my price right now, especially since the Republic's so desperate for mercs all of a sudden. Why are they hiring so many mercs? They ain't saying, but the price is sure right. Of course, I haven't heard of anyone coming back, so I'm guessing the job ain't easy. Fair enough. Okay. So they're paying a lot. And that is definitely not dissuading anyone from taking the job. The fact that no one is coming back. Okay. So why are you telling me? If you're going, go. I don't need a status report. All right, Jesus. I was just being nice. Oh, greetings, human. My name is Shalas. I had heard it said that you are no friend of the Sith. Is this true? Uh, sorry, I'm itching my ear. Otherwise, I would have hit the button sooner. Uh... My allegiances are my own business. Um, the Sith are a blight upon the galaxy. Though I suspect we have little in common, human, I share your dislike of the Sith. They have brought grief to my family. I am not a fool. I know the Sith do not respect the laws as the Republic does. Were it up to me, I would do everything in my power to aid the Republic in the war against Malak. But intergalactic politics stay my hand. Still, I know the Sith are evil, and I fear what they will do to my people, and what they may be doing now. What are you talking about? Many of the Selkath have vanished here. Most who have gone missing are on the cusp of adulthood, the youth who will someday lead this planet. My own daughter, Shasa, is among those who have disappeared. These disappearances coincide with the arrival of the Sith, uh, with the Sith and I cannot dismiss the connection. The Sith are up to something, human. Something sinister. I can feel it. I don't know why my nose decided to fuck with me while I was saying that, but it did, so. <clears throat> anyway. Uh, you want me to investigate these disappearances? I will give you 500 credits if you can uncover the fate of my daughter and the other missing cell captain. Not much, but all I can afford. I have no official authority in this matter, and my personal wealth is not vast. There is no one else I can turn to, human. The Republic agents are too closely watched by the Sith, and the Acho City authorities cannot act without proof of Sith involvement. I'll look into these disappearances for you. I cannot imagine where to begin the investigation, though I suspect the Sith did not act alone. 
Perhaps the off-worlders in the mercenary enclave know something. If you learn anything here, report back to me at once. If you uncover the fate of my daughter and the other missing Selkath youth, I will reward you as promised. Fair enough. We Fine might have a position within the Sith organization for one such as you. Your mm -hmm. offer is pretty good, but I've heard some nasty things about you, Sith. Is it true you bombed Taras into dust? This is war. In war, certain distasteful acts cannot be avoided. But ask yourself this, when we win the war, would you rather be against the Sith or with us? You make a good point. Mm. And I've never turned down a job that pays up front. Excellent. Report to the Sith Embassy tomorrow for your assignment. Okay. Are you hiring for the Republic or the Sith? Neither. Then why are you wasting my time? There's big money to be made here. I can't risk missing a job offer because I'm yapping with you. Wow. Okay. I have no desire to speak to you. I know you have links to the Republic. All right. Fair enough. Okay. Greetings, human. There are a few places in Otto City where off-worlders are welcome, but here they are at least tolerated. Let's see what you have in stock. I am certain you will see that all of my inventory is of superior quality. Wow, that is a lot of stimulants. Holy feck. Unfortunately, I'm usually not in the market for stimulants, so... You're new around here, aren't you? Mm-hmm. one. Care to buy a Sith girl a drink? Uh -huh. That is, unless you're one of those simpering Republic soldiers. Um... Uh, I hear you Sith are taking an interest in the Selkath youth. We Sith are interested in a lot of things. If you're smart, you'll stay out of Sith business. Uh -huh. I don't really want to talk about that right now. I'm just here to have a couple of drinks and try to unwind, you know? Aha. Uh -huh. Gotcha. That's understandable. Um, I'll be going now then. Oh, I get it. I get a little bit wild, and you want to hold it against me. Uh, it's not exactly what I meant. What's the matter? Afraid I'll drink you under the table? Hey, if you're not man enough to keep up, who needs you? Um... Because I'm not ladylike enough for some men. Well, I may be a woman, but I'm still a soldier. Barkeep, bring me another round. Okay, then. Alrighty. She is... Very inebriated. Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, there's not much I can do about that, is there? I came from there. What is over here? Oh, this is the courts. I guess. Okay. The Republic respects the peace of Otto City, Your Honor. But the Sith are a violent people who leave violence in their wake. I have three soldiers in the infirmary. If the Republic soldiers were more capable, they would not have suffered such serious injuries. Are my soldiers to be punished simply because they won a fair fight? I hardly call six against three a fair fight. The Sith are cowards who attack only when they have the advantage of numbers. I am aware of the Republic's indignation. However, witness reports clearly state your Republic soldiers were as willing to engage in violence as the Sith in this case. They were provoked, Your Honor. The Sith goaded them into this fight. Taunts and threats are not sufficient provocation in the eyes of this court. Words can be ignored, which is what your men should have done. I find both the Republic and the Sith to be equally at fault for this breach of the peace. I should throw all parties involved into the Otto City Jail. Since no Selkath were harmed in this conflict, I will show mercy and levy a fine of 10,000 credits to both sides. The court is dismissed, though I warn you that further disturbances will be not be viewed with such leniency. Gotcha. Okay. A lot of shit going on here. And uh, with that, we are over time, so I'm going to end the episode here for right now. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more, click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together, and I'll see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and only Stray Cat playing games, and 
getting missions done with the Gino Haradin and uh, also doing some miscellaneous quests on Tatooine with Griff and uh, Nam Manan. Uh, mainly just walking around and collecting more quests to do in Manan. But uh, eventually we'll get all those taken care of. All those loose ends will be tied up for you.